Welcome back Digital Watch fans to Vintage Digital Watches and to this mail time video. So I'm here on my living room floor opening a package that I just received from Japan. Now I do have beside me my Casio G-Shock. This is a modern one, well relatively modern. I think it's uh, eight years old or something like that. It is related to what's inside the box, uh, but it's not Casio. Uh, it's a watch that I know for sure many of you don't know it exists uh, and it will absolutely blow your mind. Just have to see. There are other watches in the package, but you will know when I will pull out the star of the show. So. Yahoo Auction Japan, they always repackage your items and uh, they will label them with uh, the auction number. And they always package things too carefully. Okay, so we'll open it up. Let me make sure I don't cut uh, any of the watches. Okay, here we go. And the star of the show is actually the very first one. I haven't opened it beforehand. So I'll just cover it like that so you don't see it. Uh, so that's, that's for later. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have a Seiko uh, D229 and uh, I already have this. Come on, focus, okay. I already have this, uh, but it's not the silver wave version. And uh, I'll probably get rid of the other one. That's not the silver wave version. And this is the more rugged one. Does it say silver version, silver wave? Yes. Right there it says silver wave, settable from the crown. Uh, I'm sure it works. If it doesn't work, uh, I will just swap the module from the one that I already have. And uh, yeah. I will insert the prices somewhere at the bottom because actually, no, I do remember the prices because I have it uh, somewhere. Oh, here we go. So uh, this was a single watch and I believe it was either the 2000, yeah, it was this one, the 2900, or was it this one, the fifth? So either one the 5200 yen or the 2900 yen. It was this one. Then, uh, so that was a single auction. These two were part of the same auction and uh, honestly, I bought them because I really needed the black version of the RC4500. And this is a bonus watch and uh, I know many people go for this one. So I'll probably, yeah, sell this one. Uh, to pay for this and this was <laughs> either the 5200 yen or the 2900 yen so I assume because these are two watches it was the 5200 yen okay now uh, before I show you the star of the show I have another auction here it's a memory board for my Toshiba libretto because I'm also into computers okay now for the star of the show <laughs> and this will blow your mind Look at this. Just look at this. Holy, holy smokes. I'll do the wristwatch check. I'm wearing a, a Citizen 9010 watch. But just look at the size of this one. Look, look at it. So yeah, it's an uh, Alba Hypertech. So apparently Alba, which is, yeah, and it works. The uh, Alba, which is a, uh, Jesus, so, so it's whole, it's super heavy. Again, Alba is a sub, is a, it's a sub brand of Seiko, and uh, they actually did these types of chunky watches. So, uh, if you search for Alba Hypertech, you'll be amazed at how chunky their watches are. This is version uh, W70. W780, so that's W780. If the camera will focus, yeah. 
and it's a uh, twin sensor it shows the altitude and uh, the temperature so there you go it says 375 meters I am at about 400 so it's fairly close probably it needs calibration but as a size comparison look at what it looks how it dwarfs a Casio a G-Shock so again uh, let me just quickly put this on my wrist so you will get a size compare I, can you tell I'm excited so I'm so super excited uh, I can't tell you how on earth I stumbled upon this watch uh, I was actually looking for it but I don't know originally uh, why I how I found it so there you go um, so this is one of Citizen's first digital watches, so it's already big and chunky. You have the G-Shock, which is by default big and chunky. And you have this thing, which is Jesus Christ. What, what is it? And it's, uh, this whole part is metallic and it has, uh, it's busier than a bishop's hat, as you say. Uh, uh, it has suspension, hypertech suspension and uh, theoretically these are the springs from the suspension can you tell that it's you can actually press it and it probably doesn't have any use you can tell you can say that if you drop it it will be like a suspension system but yeah I don't think that really works oh my god I love it so much uh, I'll probably do a review and I'll find a suitable bracelet band for it but once again just behold this abomination thanks for watching uh, I probably stretched this video beyond what it was supposed to be because this is the first time I'm holding something like this in my hands and I'm super super excited uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.